Hi guys, so this is going to be a tutorial for all those prom ladies out there that wants to get your prom makeup on. I have to tell you a little story about my prom. I honestly regret not putting a little bit more makeup on my eyes because of the pictures. I just found out that it didn't really show on pictures. Like I looked like I basically had nothing on. Um, I really don't remember how my prom makeup was because I did it. I think I have to go back through the high school pictures and really zoom in on that so I can see what I did on my face. But I honestly recommend all the ladies out there to get a little bit of a color on their eye for it to show in pictures and you know, it's nicer when it shows on pictures I find. I don't know. What do you guys think? So today I went ahead and I created a soft smoky eye for prom which is super easy to do if you want to do it on yourself or if you are going to have your makeup done by somebody or you're gonna take an appointment somewhere you can maybe go on my Instagram and get this picture if you want the same look as mine I'll put my Instagram in the info box and somewhere on the screen so you go ahead and follow me if ever you want this look on your face you can go ahead and do that feel free to do that and uh, yeah so today I created like a nice soft um, smoky eye winged up with the liner I know the liner the winged liner is very popular lately and all of you ladies want that because I know because I work in this industry so hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you guys want to see how I achieved it please keep on watching so the first thing about the hand I did is that I applied a primer or a base on my eye just to keep the eyeshadows from creasing and make the eyeshadows last longer on my eye and I went ahead and I used my MAC paint in bare canvas. I squeezed a bit in the back of my hand. I took it off right now and I just took a brush with that and I applied it evenly all over. Um, these products tend to dry fast so I recommend you to do that method so your product will last you longer. I'm taking a little piece of tape. Any tape you have would work. I tried to use a sponge. Trust me, a sponge on myself, it's pretty, pretty hard, but on clients, it's super easy. Basically, you can just place the sponge like that to create that sharp line. So uh, in my case, something easier, um, especially if you're rushing or anything, use a tape on yourself. But if you're doing this look on somebody else, you can use a sponge because it's already on a angled shape that you can get a straight line from it. So it's easier. So I'm just going to take this little piece of tape and stick it on a way that it's going upward. Make sure that you match it up with the other eye. This is a trick about this look that you really need to match it up. I'm going to go ahead and use a dark brown color. I'm going to be using Inbark from MAC that looks like this. And I'm going to be taking it with a fluffy brush. This is the 217 brush. And I'm just going to pack this color on the brush and go ahead and apply it to the outer corners like this. And also blend it toward the tape to get that sharp line. And I'm going to apply it basically the outer corners and then bring what's rest on the brush um, lightly toward the inner corners. And take a black I'm going to be taking carbon and all of this palette if you guys are wondering these are all my MAC shadows but if you have any other shadows that is very similar to the colors I'm using go ahead and use those I'm going to take it with the same brush and I'm going to pack carbon on the outer corners like this and then lightly fade it to the crease Next, this is a trick that I really like to do if you don't have a highlighter color that's close to your skin tone or if you don't want to use any shimmer highlight, I recommend you to take your powder foundation with a fluffy brush. I'm using the 224 brush from MAC and I'm going to go ahead and just blend that brown black out toward my skin just to create like a nice highlighted look. a uh, flat shader brush a big flat shader brush and I'm going to be taking orb 
like this. This is a this is one of my favorite colors to apply in the inner corners if you want light to your eye and it's matte. Um, well, I think it has a satin finish. And I'm just going to go ahead and pack it in the inner corners like so. Roughly, it doesn't need to be super clean. I'm going to blend it out with the 217 brush later on. And I'm just going to apply it like this. You can see it right away. It just helps to brighten the inner corners and make you look awake. And I'm just going to take the 217 brush and blend it away. Then I'm going to be taking a smaller eyeshadow brush. This is a brush, seriously, that I got from Coastal Scents um, in a, a brush set that I absolutely love. And I'm going to be taking Nylon, which is my favorite shimmery pearly color. I'm just going to pack this color on this brush and go ahead and apply it in the middle of my eye. Pat it on first. And then you can go ahead and clean your brush the back of your hand. And you can go ahead and just fluff it out or blend it out with the colors. This is gonna give you that little touch of glow on your eye which is beautiful on pictures or just like if the disco ball hit you you're gonna be shining like a diamond. It's beautiful. And I'm gonna take the 217 brush again and just blend it out like so. Next this is a trick that's gonna help you so much you can keep the tape on and go ahead and create your liner. I'm going to be using the Kat Von D tattoo liner and then I'm just gonna go over it a little bit with my lovely eyeliner that I love so much here this is the um, Lime Crime liner in Quill and I'm just gonna go ahead and create a nice wing um, if you want you can definitely go ahead and follow up your liner all the way up there I kind of went somewhat halfway it's nicer it depends on your eye shape as well if you don't want a really thick liner then you can do a thin one I have almond shaped eyes, I love my eyeliner to be thick and a bit longer because I find it makes my eye look more elongated toward the outer corners if that makes any sense, if I even said it right anyway. And I'm going to go ahead and just create. So I'm just going to create that line at the bottom, super close to the tape as possible. And I'm just going to bring it to the eyelid like this. And then you can go ahead and fill that up. And I'm going to go all the way to the tear duct area with this liner. So I just took off the tape and I'm just going to go ahead and fix up that line. Alright, so my liner is done. I'm going to go ahead and, and put some shadow on the lower lash line. I'm going to be taking a small shader brush that looks like that. And I'm going to be taking Inbark first, which is the dark brown that I used on the upper lid. I'm just going to take it and I'm going to go ahead and apply it to the outer corners and also smoke it up a bit. Make sure that you join it together because it's going to look nicer when you do that. Then I'm going to be taking Carbon, which is the black one, with the same brush. And I'm going to pack it on top and also blend it. Then I like to take my 219 brush and go ahead and blend everything nicely. It just makes the lower lash line nicer, I find this brush. You can go ahead and take that flat shader brush again and then just go ahead and blend the lower lash line. It gives that nice look rather than a harsh line. I'm going to be taking this small little shadow brush again and taking nylon which is the shimmery color that I applied in the inner corners. And I'm going to pack this in the tear duct area of my eye. And 
and you want to blend that out. Okay, so this is the eye. I'm gonna go ahead and apply some mascara. I'm going to be using my Studio Sculpt mascara. Studio Sculpt mascara, and I'm then gonna go over with my Zoom Fast mascara for some volume for the lower lash line. And I'm also going to be applying a primer. This is a primer from the L'Oreal um, Double Extend mascara. And I'm also going to be applying lashes. The best lashes for this kind of look, I really like the 36 from MAC which uh, looks like that. Lashes are shorter from the inner corners and then longer to the outer corners. I love these lashes for this kind of look. It just makes your eye more longer and more bigger. So I'll go ahead and apply these and I'll be back for the finished look. All right, so this is the finished look. It's time to show you guys what I used on my face. So I went ahead and I highlighted under my eye before anything and I reused my uh, MAC Prep and Prime Highlighter Stick in Bright Forecast. I just applied it under the eye, I blended it out, and then I went ahead and I set it with um, MAC Accentuate. Um, Accentuate, Sculpt, and Definitive, these are MAC Pro uh, products that you can only get at the MAC Pro. These are meant for highlighting and contouring, which is amazing. And then talking about contour, I went ahead and I contoured my face with Sculpt first, and then I used Definitive for more definition. And then for blush, I went ahead and I applied Copper Tone. I love to apply this as a base first, as like an all-over shade. And then I love, I'm loving the shade from my NARS palette, my blush palette from Guy Bourdain, uh, which is... Do you guys keep these? This is really annoying. I think I'm going to be throwing it away because it's really annoying. I hate it. And then I went ahead and I used this plummy dark shade color, which is super pretty on. I love it. It's like a nice natural look especially if you're tanned a bit it's so nice it shows very nicely and then i went ahead and i highlighted i'm like obsessed with shimmer highlights as well i'm using this uh, shimmery highlight from the same palette as well and i went ahead and i just applied it right there as you guys can see it i'm shining like a diamond if you have oily skin i definitely highly tell you to stay away from anything that's shimmery especially if you don't want anything shimmery since your your skin is oily I tell you to stay away from that, but if you like it, then you can go ahead and apply some. You are free to do whatever you want. And then for lips, I, I went ahead and I mixed two colors. Unfortunately, this is a discontinued color. This is called Close Contact, but if you have anything that's similar to it, I highly recommend Blankety because I absolutely love Blankety as well. It's a, it's a color that's very similar to this one. And this is uh, just a pretty nude color that looks like that. So I applied that everywhere. And then I went over it with MAC Cream Cup, which is a pretty color. This color is very, very recommended for prom because it's soft, especially if you want to create like a nice soft smoky eye as I did. So Cream Cup is a nice uh, pink nude color, which I absolutely love as well. So I mixed these two together. If not, you can just wear Cream Cup on its own. Um, but I like to get a little bit of a nude in there since... I don't know. I like to mix lipsticks, as you guys know. So this is the finished look. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please leave them all in the comments down below. I try to get to you guys as soon as possible. Thank you guys so much for watching. Good luck on your exams if you're still in high school. And hopefully you have a great prom. I'm wishing you all the luck and all the joy and have the best time ever. Make it count and remember to remember your special day which is prom because it happens once a year and you do it once a year in your whole entire life. So enjoy it to the fullest. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye everyone.